question that a lot of parents face this time of year as we get into cold and flu season is when do I send the kids back to school or maybe they're not feeling well do I call a doctor it is a debate that we have and so this morning we have brought in Sherry Toykis as she is a holistic pharmacist and you're going to talk a little bit about a different scenario so we're going to first start with fever uh, what do we need to be watching out for because when your children uh, children have fevers I'm assuming that it's it's stressful as a parent you don't exactly know what to do yeah it is stressful when a child has a temperature but keep in mind that fever is how the body actually responds to a potential invader your, your body temperature will rise and the body's trying to kill off that potential invader so I wouldn't recommend medicating all fevers only if if it's really high the child is uncomfortable if it's 104 you would want to see the doctor or if you have an infant and the temperatures above 100.4 for a child less than three months, then you would see the doctor. But when it comes to checking fever, I would recommend using a uh, thermometer, an ear thermometer, or even some of the new forehead technology. They're quick and easy ways to check the temperature. Treating a fever as something like acetaminophen or ibuprofen are better options. Do not give a child less than 12 aspirin because of the risk of rise syndrome. You want to keep them hydrated, hydrated. With lots of water, uh -huh. fruit and vegetable juices, things like that. Keep them comfortable, but don't resist the urge to medicate as soon as the temperature gets a little elevated. Okay. And if it's 104 or higher, then, then you call then the you pediatrician. Or if there's the ear doctor. pain or neck pain, then you want to go to the doctor for sure. Okay, so that breaks down fever. Now we're going to talk a little bit about a vomiting and diarrhea, which right. is always uncomfortable it when is. you're, you know a kid is going through that. For sure, it's really uncomfortable and with both vomiting and diarrhea, one of the key things is to prevent dehydration. Oh. So you want to give your child, as soon as they're able to keep something down, a good electrolyte solution such as Pedialyte or the store brand equivalent. Do not give fruit juices or soda because of the amount of sugar. It doesn't have the right so balance. Sugar in there. So this has the right balance of salt, sugar and water. A bland diet such as rice, bananas and crackers once a child's able to keep something down. You can also find remedies in the pharmacy that can help to provide quick relief for diarrhea. This is something that's fairly new. You'll see it's called Dia Rescue. And this is not a drug. It's actually a food for special dietary use, and it contains colostrum, bovine colostrum, and egg solids. And actually works with the body's own natural underlying processes to restore intestinal function. So it has immune factors and nutrients. So this can actually resolve most cases of pediatric diarrhea within a day. Within a day. And so you give that right at the onset of diarrhea. And it's just this little okay. powder packet. You mix it with water. And um, this is a great option because it doesn't have the side effects and it's actually one of the only things that's recommended for children less than six that have diarrhea works quickly and it works safely so vomiting diarrhea is there a point where we need to go to the doctor? Yes, there is. So if the child has uh, vomiting or diarrhea that's persisting um, a few days, if it's accompanied by a high fever, the child is very lethargic, completely out of sorts, uh -huh. then I'd reach out to the pediatrician for sure. So we've got about a minute left. Let's talk a little bit about cold and respiratory issues because okay. this is very common, especially November, December, January, February. Uh, what do we yes. need to know? Okay, so the bugs are circulating for sure. So aside from educating the children on hand washing, avoiding that mouth hand yeah. mouth contact. If they do get sick, a few things that can help make them more comfortable and speed healing. I do like honey for children less, or for children over one year of age. This is a great natural way to help calm a cough. Mm -hmm. It's good for sore throat. You'll find different cough syrups as well that have honey as well as other botanical natural herbal ingredients. And if you see gummies that have vitamin C, echinacea, those are also another option to give children to help make them feel better. But if the child has difficulty breathing, we if the cold or flu is not getting any better accompanied with other symptoms such as a very high temperature then maybe you'd want to reach out to the doctor or take the child to the clinic. We have a few seconds left uh, with rashes what do we need to be uh, looking out okay, for with rashes? Okay so with rashes you want to um, apply cool compresses, gentle cleansers, so I like products that have lavender, shea butter, gentle washes, don't scrub the rash. Children will react from foods they've eaten, different clothing, different things in their environment. Not all rashes need to be treated. If it persists, if, it's, if there's welts or oozing, it's intensely itchy, or if the rash is accompanied by a high temperature, then it could suggest some type of infection, maybe measles or something else, so you'd want to see the doctor or chicken pox as maybe well. Maybe more serious. Okay, more serious. Sure, obviously you uh, gave us some great advice and tips this morning. We appreciate uh, really running the gamut from fever to rashes to a uh, cold and flu. So thank you so much for joining Thanks us. For we appreciate me. having thank you. you. Uh, we're going to send it out to Dave. He's joining